Alright, it's been a while. Back to make a quick video. I'm going to be electro etching some 20 gauge steel, which I've polished up. And I have a vinyl cut sticker that I'm going to use for the mask. Basically the idea is to put the stencil on the metal, put the metal in the water with your salt solution, and you put the positive terminal on the metal, you put the negative terminal on a sacrificial piece of metal. So all of the little bits of this go over to the little bits of that, and then all of a sudden you start removing metal and it covers the top of the bin with scum, and you see metal floating. It's pretty awesome. So today, that's what we're doing. Let's get started. I have stuck the vinyl decal onto the metal. It's nice and clean, nice and shiny. I'm gonna pull the rest of this off of here. Try not to touch the clean part with any oils from your fingers because it can affect the level of etch you get. So there you see polished metal with the vinyl cut sticker on top that's gonna act as the mask. So anything that's shiny will be removed. So I'm just gonna touch up this top edge with some electrical tape and I'm going to cover the back as well so the back does not etch. We don't want that to etch, so I'm going to just cover that with this piece of uh, white vinyl I have here. And then we'll uh, get to the part where we mix the water and the salt and the vinegar. So I've added the water and the salt to the pot here. And I'm going to go ahead and start stirring this in once it gets warm. I'm also going to add the vinegar now. This isn't a precise science, so I'm not even going to measure it out. I'm just going to average about 5 ounces of, uh, of distilled vinegar in there as well. So five ounces of that, five ounces of salt, and uh, we'll see what we get. What I've got over here is the sacrificial piece of metal on the negative terminal. The positive terminal is going over to this. I'm going to clamp it on the fatter part of the metal over here. And I've got a DC power supply um, that you can basically set any voltage or current that you want. And I was playing around with this and doing a little testing. I think I'm going to lie somewhere in a, a little bit above 12 volt range. Um, that seems to be the common good number to use. So you can basically turn it on. It's already set for 13, so I probably will stay with that and uh, try this new etch um, solution. I think I did a little bit less salt than I needed last time, so this time I'm putting more. And uh, we'll see if this gives me a more subtle etch. The test etch that I did came out pretty cool. It's cool and everything. It looks great, but the problem I have with it is that it has these pits in the background instead of a flat. You know, even though some might desire that effect, it is pretty cool, but I want to be able to know how to get it perfectly uh, smooth, or at least better than that, because as you can see, it's almost like tiny little tiny little uh, pockmarks or you know, it's just eroding. So the goal is to get that a little bit smoother. So this time what the difference is, I'm giving it a way larger um, sacrificial piece. The last time the one I used was only about a third of the size of this one. And um, I also have more stuff in the, in the water, so hopefully that will help. We'll see once this water gets heated up. I'll put it back in the bucket over here and we'll set it up. And then I'll get it set up to do a time lapse and uh, see how long it actually takes to do this. So the water is starting to get warm enough. You can probably see that down there to melt those crystals of salt. So I'll mix it up and we'll get ready to go. You don't really see any salt particles floating around in there. You can kind of see the, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the chemical, -y, the chemical look of the water spinning around. That's the science. Okay, let's get this in the other bucket and start some etching. Okay, so we're over here at the tub. We have the 13 cup plastic container. I've got my sacrificial piece of metal in there. I have this because I'm going to try to put this on the very surface of the water so all the crap that it collects stays on one side and I should be able to uh, see this uh, actual project on the other side. So basically what we're going to do is put one over here and one over there like this and get it charged up and ready to go. Before I put these in the water, 
I'm going to leave that in there, keep this the way it is, and then I'm going to go ahead and dump in the salt and vinegar water. And that worked out pretty good with that chopstick. <clears throat> with the chopstick on the surface, I'm hoping that'll keep majority of the crap on this side here. So we'll try to get this closer to the camera. All right, everything's ready to go. I'm about ready to drop my positive into the water. And I've got this sacrificial piece on the other side. And now we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the power supply over here. And as you can see, it instantly starts bubbling up. And we're at only four volts right now. There's more amperage this time. So I guess it worked by putting more salt, it's conducting better and needing less voltage. So it's using 4.8 amps and I can crank that up to 4.9. So we're using right now 4.8 volts and 5 amps. So says the meter. Just over 5 amps and 4.7 volts with a pretty strong mixture of salt and vinegar. And uh, we're just going to let this run for a while and uh, watch how it changes. We're starting this at 10 minutes after 12 so just to keep an eye on time. It's already starting to blacken a little bit. You can already see some particles starting to form on the top of the water here. That's all just going to be little flakes of metal. Check this. See what we got. You can see it's much cleaner as an etch. It's still pretty wet, but it's a much smoother etch this time. Pull it out of here. Pull this off. Yep, that is a nice, look at that, look at that, that is deep. Alright, let's get these vinyl letters off of here and see what we got. It's got a little bit of bumpiness in there from some bubbling or whatever, but I don't mind it. Really good results. It'll get better from here because now I know what I can do and I'd have less of those little bubbly marks, but I mean, you can't beat that. It's, well, you can, but not for the second run. Yep, pretty happy with that. And then you've got all this nice sludge over here. Look at that stuff. Mmm. And while we're here, because I've got it out, let's just show you the comparison. This was with more volts. got all pity less amps the new one you can tell it's a hundred times better this one's still kind of cool in its own unique way like has character it's definitely something I'll be able to use for something pretty simple setup 
Very nice. Thanks for watching. Please uh, comment thumbs up down below if um, if this was interesting to you at all, or if you've even made it this far. I appreciate it. Thanks.